at Walmart. If you watched my last video, you probably know that I am a dog groomer and it's a great job. I really, really like that job. Like I, I really enjoy grooming. I like working with the dogs and I like my coworkers and stuff like that, but it can definitely come with its stresses. Like for example, today. Today was very, very stressful. So was yesterday. Actually, this whole week has been pretty stressful. And COVID is not helping with that situation. I think that's probably the main, like, that's probably the one thing that made it worse. There were mornings where I was like, yay, I get to go into work. But now, recently, I wake up in the morning and I think, I really don't want to go to work today. I really, really don't want to go to work. And I really hate that. Basically, I want to let you know about the stresses because not a lot of people know like a lot of people I'm pretty sure think it's just playing with dogs all day and you know, I bathe my dogs at home. No biggie. It's no biggie But it definitely comes with the stresses and it's not just I mean it can't it's not always just the dogs or it's not always just the customers or anything like that. It's just how everything you know is put together how everything I don't know grooming can be dangerous too it's not just cutting hair it's more than that it's it comes with all kinds of different types of dogs all kinds of different ki types of coats it's just a big jumbled mess <laughs> basically i want to say that i've dealt with pretty much all of those issues today lately we've been losing a lot of people a lot of staff a lot of salon a lot of my salon co-workers have been leaving or going to different salons or something like that so it's down to like three groomers and two part-time bathers and we're not just bathing dogs and cutting their hair we are bathing the dogs drying the dogs cutting the hair trimming the nails answering phone calls and booking appointments checking in dogs checking out dogs it's it's a lot to do for just one person so that's why it's better to have multiple people working at the same time. That way we can all like switch and do things while someone's in the back drawing a dog. Someone can be in the front answering phone calls. Someone's in the front or someone's on their table cutting a dog's hair, whatever, whatever. But today it was just me because the bather that was scheduled with me had called out sick. So I was the only one in the salon this morning. So we had to call in another groomer who was off today and um, we had to ask for some help from another bather. He's sort of like cross trained. So he works out in the store and he works in the salon. So we had to ask him to help out too. But it was, it's just really hard because that groomer that we had to call in, it was her day off. And yesterday she wasn't supposed to come into work either, but she came into work yesterday too. It's just been real stressful for all of us, especially the ones that have to fill in on their days off. It's kind of hard when you've got customers wanting them done, all their dogs done at a certain time and you're busy getting the dog on the table, answering the phone call, and then checking in another dog and checking out another dog. It's just a lot. Like I would, I can get a small dog done probably about, probably about an hour, but it goes up to about, I don't know, two hours because while I'm grooming that dog, I'm also checking in some other dogs that are coming in at other times. And I'm also answering phones. I'm also le checking out dogs. So getting dogs out of their kennels and bringing them back to their parents. It's, it's pretty random and people come in also randomly wanting to like get nail trims just quick little walk-in kind of thing it's kind of it kind of makes like literally every single dog two hours and that's just for the little dogs for the big dogs they take me longer because they've got a lot more hair and they're a lot bigger and most of the time they get longer baths so de-shedding baths take a lot longer than a regular bath i know all this is probably like super really confusing and i'm all jumbled up because i'm not very good at organizing my what i'm talking about but what I'm saying is it was really tough today and it got to the point where I was thinking about quitting. I, I really don't want to quit my job. I don't want to go looking for another job and I like grooming. I love grooming. All this stress that's coming from my job right now, COVID and people wanting their dogs done, the holidays coming up. It's just really difficult to want to stay there especially when coworkers are calling out sick and you're left alone. 
to deal with your dogs, including the, that person's dogs as well. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just ranting. <laughs> but basically, <laughs> that groomer that came in today to help me out, I really wanna show her how much I appreciate her. So I thought I'd come to Walmart today and get her a few things because she's also going to be going through an ACL surgery in a few days so I also wanted to get her like a get well card and stuff like that. Just so like, you know, because I want to show her how much I appreciate her and how much we're going to miss her while she's gone, you know, while she's recovering from her surgery. So, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Walmart and I'm going to get some stuff. I've already got a few things in mind, but I guess it's whatever I can find. I kind of got to hurry this up because... My family's waiting for me to eat dinner at home. So we gotta make this quick. But anyways, that's what happened to me today. <laughs> and we're gonna go into the store now and grab the stuff. Here we go. I'm trying to find a Taco Bell gift card. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sweet. She loves Taco Bell. It is super awkward filming in the store. Like there's so many people here. It feels so weird. I'm sure the cards are this way. I don't know. I found them. I found the cards. I think I found a card that I'm gonna do. Cute, Cute right? It has a dog on it, so it's perfect. Now, I'm looking at the bags, but I don't think I see any good ones that are just, unless they're really plain. Yeah, these are all super duper plain. And there's baby ones and birthday ones, but, ooh, these are cute. And I think I'm gonna get like a fluffy blanket or something. It depends on what I find. It's so difficult. I don't like filming in public. Why? I guess I chose to do this, but... I'm gonna see if I can find any more cards. But I don't know. Oh, here's some more cards. Oh, wait, no. Ooh, these are funny ones. I'm gonna give her two cards. The get well one and the thank you one. Just to get my point across. Plus, it's pretty much a present for her to get well and a present that shows her that I appreciate it. That was awkward, someone just walked by me. That was awkward. So I'm hoping people will just think that I'm like video chatting with someone. <gasps> fuzzy blankets. Oh my gosh, I found the fuzzy blankets. No, wait, these aren't fuzzy blankets, they're just it is fleece to make fuzzy blankets. Never mind. How's that arm? I can try. Okay. 
Yeah, hopefully people can think that I'm like a sending someone or something. What's over here? Ooh. Are they fuzzy blankets? They are fuzzy blankets. Maybe I should get her one of these pillows. They go around your neck. She's not traveling anywhere. Now this is the blanket I would want. Oh my gosh, it's like, it's like, ooh, so soft. Which one does she like, the blue one or the green? It's the end of the video and it'll be crazy when she leaves because no one's gonna be able to like me and her we're always there we're always there at the salon anyways yeah so um i'm gonna end the video here thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video